Hi, welcome to another edition of Hand Layered Tracks and 3D Printed Trains with Sucratis. Today we're taking a look at something I built, a rail cutter. When you're building a turnout or straight track or otherwise, you have to cut the rails to the proper length. Now if it's a full length piece of straight track, you don't have to cut it, but if you're making any sort of smaller piece, you're going to have to cut the rails. So, for the time saver, I need a series of number four turnouts. I needed four of them at the minimum just for the time saver, and I plan to make a freight yard, so I'm going to need a whole bunch more. And they're really fun to make, so why not make lots of turnouts? Well, one reason is, it's a lot of work. So I wanted to make it as easy as possible, and as consistent as possible. So I built my own rail cutter. This is a simple device. You slide the pieces of uncut or rough cut rails into the tubes. They go all the way down to the bottom. There's a little window so you can see the bottom of the piece in there. And you can slide the rail to the length. You nip it off at the end of the piece uh, where they're all in there at the same time. You can try to file them. All the rails are a bit hard to file at once. But there's slots for the stock rails on the outside, the diverging rails that change the uh, direction and the frog rails which combine together in the little V and the two small guard rails. You slip in the rails, nip them all off the length and just like that you've got the rails you need to build a turnout, a straight track, whatever it is you're trying to build. In this case I have them set up for the number four turnout and for the number six three-way Y which has a lot of components. It makes the task easier and more consistent because the ideas end up with a handmade quality product and one that is is perfect essentially that the trains run clean over it and they're easy to install and the easiest way to install them is if they're all exactly the same and that's one of the things that is very helpful by using some form of tool to set up the pieces to the proper length etc and for me I found that the rail cutter was a very very helpful way to to get the pieces the same length here I'm pulling out the two diverging rails and uh, with the stock rails you can see that the little stuck in there but with the window you can push it out and then you can pull the rail out nice and clean and you have the rails cut to the exact same length each and every time that you want to go ahead and build something and so that's a pretty simple thing it's a rail roller a rail cutter and something I'll eventually I'll put them on Etsy I don't know how many people want these things but for me building my own tracks this is really really helpful and I got the four number four turnouts built and they came out pretty pretty close I have to work on the jig to make them exactly set up I I still am trying to determine where the cut should be but this is a it's a process you know and the four turnouts work great so thanks for watching hope you liked it and I hope you built some of your own tracks it's it's a lot of fun and it's not nearly as hard as you think because uh, building turnouts or buying turnouts is the most difficult expensive thing for a layout but if you build them it's fun and easy, and you want to have as many as you can. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, blah, blah, and I'll see you again next video. Nice day today.